This week, the PSAT and SAT state testings will take place. Our talented art students will compete in the ICE art competition. We learn about book bingo in the Media Center. We begin a seven-part series on tips for academic success. And it's a four-day weekend coming up. Roll intro. This is the Chatter Newscast, coming to you from Rechester High School in Braidwood, Illinois. Welcome to yet another episode of the Chatter Newscast. We're here to fill in on what you need to know going on at Recuster High School for the week of April 11th. Let's get started with the headlines. PSAT and SAT state testing will take place on Wednesday, April 13th. The freshmen will be taking the PSAT 9th, the sophomores the PSAT 10th, and the juniors the SAT. The juniors will be dismissed to leave once their testing is completed. After testing and lunch, the freshmen and sophomores will participate in the mini career fair with presentation by JJ Sate, Wilco, JVC, and Trees. The seniors will not be in school, instead they will have the day to visit a college, do a job shadow, or complete some required community service hours for graduation. There will be no school on Friday, April 15th, and also no school on Monday, April 18th, to recognize Good Friday and Easter Sunday. Enjoy your four-day weekend. Now let's send it over to the Counseling Connection. Hi, I'm Tori. And I'm Gabby. And we have all the latest news from the Counseling Connection. High school is a time when students have the opportunity to learn, grow, and make mistakes, to work on creating the academic habits that they will carry with them to college and a career. High school can also feel overwhelming. Academic success seems mandatory to get accepted into the right colleges and universities and pave the way toward a bright future. Fortunately, the way to enjoy academic success in high school does not have to be a mystery. Over the next seven weeks, we will discuss seven tips for high school students to keep in mind as they strive for academic excellence. As a high school student, one of the most important ways to prepare yourself for a successful future is to do a lot of exploring so you can discover the areas of study and extracurricular activities that you're passionate about. A common misconception may lead students to believe that colleges and universities, even future employers, find a wide array of activities most impressive. In fact, leaders are actually often impressed by individuals who find their few passions and pursue them wholeheartedly. Pursuing too many different activities at once in high school could lead to an overwhelming experience. Sometimes selecting a few activities you care most about will lead to more success in those areas than if you attempt to get involved in every possible way throughout high school. Remember, you are only human. Take time to explore the world and all possibilities of study while in high school. And then really dive into the subjects and activities you love most. SeniorCare.com is dedicated to helping seniors and their families in their quest for a better life. Aging impacts everyone, and as the aging population explodes over the next 30 years, SeniorCare.com wants to bring more awareness to the key issues we face. They will be awarding an annual college scholarship to an individual that best demonstrates to them why aging matters to the student. The Aging Matters Scholarship will be given annually to select a college student that currently cares for an aging loved one, works within the senior community, or intends to pursue a career that they will have an impact on the elder population. Any existing student or incoming freshman in good academic standing at a two- or four-year accredited college can apply for the scholarship, and the recipients will re demonstrate a unique and admirable understanding and desire to show us that aging matters to them. The amount of the scholarship is $1,500, the deadline date is May 15th, 2022, and the selection date is June 15th, 2022. The cool career of the week is a chief executive officer. A chief executive officer is the highest executive position in a company and also the most paid. They are responsible for many tasks, including managing resources, supervising, planning, etc. To become a CEO, you need a knowledge of business and a master's degree. The national average salary is $310,000. That's all the connections we have for you this week. Now let's send it over to Comet Sports. See you next week. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome to Comet Sports. Comet Sports. My name's Shaman, and let's step up to the plate and talk baseball. The varsity and JV teams will face Lyle Monday and Tuesday, April 11th and 12th. 
The Varsity will be on the road and the JV will host Lyle on Monday. And then on Tuesday, the Varsity will host Lyle and the JV team will be on the road. The Varsity will end the week with a double header at Clifton Central on Saturday, April 16th, beginning at 10 a.m. The Lady Comets will start their week off with a home game against Westma on Monday, April 11th at 4.30 p.m. Then on Tuesday, April 12th, the Comets will travel to Beecher. The game will begin at 4.30 p.m. To wrap up the week on Thursday, April 14th, the Comets will host Piatone at 4.30 p.m. I'm Joey Lingham and let's talk about softball. There will be five games this week, starting with an away game against Lyle on Monday, April 11th. Next, there will be a home game against Lyle on Tuesday, April 12th. The girls will travel to Dwight on Wednesday, April 13th. The girls will end the week hosting a doubleheader against Streeter Woodland on Saturday, April 16th. The first game starts at 11 a.m. Now, let's talk about track. The first home outdoor meet of the season will be against Lyle and Mantino on Tuesday, April 12th at 4.30 p.m. And then the boys and girls track teams will travel to Seneca on Friday, April 15th. Let's go, Comet! Hi, I'm Mara, and welcome to the latest Media Center news. This week we have news about Book Bingo, the Anime Club, and Library Finds. Miss Can will be placing Book Bingo cards on the circulation desk throughout the week. Stop by and see if you can get a bingo. As the month of April is National Library Month, library finds are half off for the entire month. Do you enjoy anime? Join Foster Ridge Library April 12th from 6 to 7 p.m. That's what's going on in the Media Center. And remember, the only thing you absolutely have to know is the location of the library. Monday, April 11th, we will be having chicken quesadillas, Spanish rice, vegetables, fruit, and milk. Tuesday, April 12th, we will be having sloppy joes, chips, vegetables, fruit, and milk. Wednesday, April 13th, we will be having pizza, vegetables, fruit, and milk. Thursday, April 14th, we will be having spaghetti with meat sauce, breadsticks, vegetables, fruit, and milk. And Friday, along with next Monday, we will not be having school, so enjoy your time off. That concludes this week's lunch menu, and remember, I adore all of you. Now here is your healthy tip of the week. Let's take another look at the winter self-care ideas bulletin board outside the school counselor's office to pick another category. Let's take a look at the organize something category. Clean out your closet. What don't you wear anymore? Turn your hangers around to face you after you wear something. If you haven't worn it in a few months, donate it. Clean out your drawers. Is it old? Does it have holes in it? Do you avoid wearing it? Throw it out. Invest in some new socks and underwear for yourself. Clean off your bookshelf. Do you have books you'll never read again? Are you saving old school notes that you're not going to go back and reference? Trash those. What clutter is still laying around your bedroom? Stacks of paper, boxes of trinkets, donate or trash them if you haven't touched them in six months. Do you have old chargers or power cords? Donate them or throw them away. You don't need these. That will do it for this week's tip of the week. Stay healthy, Comets. Hi, I'm Jessen. And I'm Jana. And we have the latest scoop on all the clubs and activities. The ICE Art Show and Portfolio Competition will be hosted at Wilmington High School on Wednesday, April 13th. That'll do it for this episode. Keep on clubbing, Comets. Thanks for watching the Chatter Newscast. We'll be back next week with another brand new episode. Don't forget to click the like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook and Instagram. Before we go, here's your life's important thing to remember for the week. Try to make goodness attractive. That's one of the toughest assignments you'll ever be given. See you next week. And remember, the only thing you absolutely have to know is look at the cake. You're <laughs>